We're in Sydney, the weather's great, and I'm hungry. So let's go try some true Aussie snacks. This is Vegemite on toast. It's the ultimate Australian breakfast food. It's a spread made from leftover yeast extract at the end of the beer brewing process. Now the flavor on its own is pretty intense. It's like a punch in the face. But spread thinly over toast with butter, it's pretty damn good. Hi, can I please have one classic mince pie? One of the most Australian snacks is a meat pie. Forget what the English tell you, this is as Australian as it gets. Now the classic Aussie pie is filled with beef and is usually eaten with a good dose of tomato sauce. And it's not really an authentic experience unless you walk out with burns to your mouth. On a hot day like today, there's nothing better than a Golden Gay time. It's Australia's favorite ice cream, and it's made up of vanilla and toffee ice cream, dipped in chocolate, and rolled in honeycomb biscuits. Tastes like summer. Woo! Everybody loves a good tea, but Australians have perfected drinking it with this. Tim Tams are an institution in Australia. They're a chocolate biscuit with chocolate cream in the middle, coated in chocolate. And the best way to enjoy them is like this. Bite one corner and the other end so that you can suck the tea straight through the biscuit. We call it a Tim Tam Slam, hot chocolatey tea. Can I get a schooner of the Young Henrys? When it comes to lunch, you can't miss out on this Aussie staple, the chicken parmy. It's a chicken schnitzel pimped up with tomato sauce, cheese, and a slice of ham. If you thought the chicken schnitzel couldn't get any better, you'd be wrong. I have a kangaroo burger thing. Kangaroos are kind of Australia's national animal, but they're also pretty damn tasty. Now you won't find it on the menu everywhere, but this place does a pretty mean kangaroo burger. Another super Aussie thing about this burger is the addition of beetroot. You'll only get that in Australia, and it adds like a nice sweetness to the meat. It's good, worth trying. Hi, can I get a chocolate sundae and a medium fries, thank you. Macca's is definitely not Australian, but as you've seen so far, we're pretty good at taking something original and elevating it to the next level. I present to you soft serve and french fries. Why have chips or ice cream when you can have both? Salty, sweet deliciousness. Thank you. Whoa. Australia has some pretty great seafood, and if you've just had a swim, there's nothing better than some fish and chips. If you go to an Aussie bakery, you may come across these. This is a lamington. It's sponge cake dipped in chocolate, rolled in coconut. Fluffy, chocolatey goodness. Ooh, okay. Now you can get kebabs pretty much anywhere in the world, but something a little more Australian is the halal snack pack. Concept's pretty simple. It's a good serving of chips, covered in kebab meat, smothered in garlic, barbecue, and chili sauce. The result is a drunk man's heaven. Australians have a bit of a reputation for being big drinkers. And this might be our best invention. This is boxed wine, also known as Goon. It's not the best quality of wine, but each of these bad boys has about 30 drinks in it. Now, if you want to drink it in the traditional Aussie way, you have to play Goon of Fortune. The rules are simple. You attach the Goon bag to the clothesline, give it a spin, and whoever it lands closest to has to drink. So there you have it, some of the must-try eats and drinks of Australia. Definitely try as much as you can, especially the goo. Or maybe not.